Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of people worldwide. Unfortunately, it's even worse for the African American community. It's time to change the sad reality. This presentation will help you clearly understand the need to properly nourish the one organ that makes all the difference. This information is life-changing and I guarantee that you will come away with a clear plan of action that will significantly lower your risk for cardiovascular disease. Now before we talk about the organ that is critical to your cardiovascular health, and this organ is not your heart, it's important for you to understand the depth of cardiovascular disease confronting the African American community. As I list these ailments, I want you to think in terms of people you know who are confronted daily by these health issues. There is a human cost that is being paid, and it doesn't have to be this way. Type 2 diabetes has grown to epidemic proportions in the United States. People with diabetes have a greater risk for stroke, heart disease, and circulation issues. Twice as many African Americans will develop diabetes when compared to the Caucasian community. African American women in the age range of 25 to 44 have a two and a half times greater risk of coronary heart disease and African American men have a one and a half times greater risk than the Caucasian community. The American Heart Association estimates that 28 percent of African American adults and more than 66 percent of African Americans over the age of 60 have high blood pressure. Erectile dysfunction affects 50% of the male population over the age of 40, and this is even greater in the African American community. High blood cholesterol is a significant risk factor for heart disease. Unfortunately, 50% of African American men and 54% of women have too much cholesterol circulating in their bloodstream. African Americans are twice as likely to die from a stroke as Caucasians. The rate for having your first stroke is almost double that of Caucasians. One half of all African American women will die from either a stroke or heart disease. That's quite a list of ailments affecting African Americans. It can be depressing until you closely look at all six health issues. When you do, you will see there is one common factor to all of them. It's your cardiovascular system. The key to reducing your risk for cardiovascular disease is in learning how to properly nourish the one organ that determines most of your cardiovascular health. When I make this statement, most people think I'll be talking about their heart, and while your heart is critical to your health, there is another organ that actually regulates all your cardiovascular system. This is Nobel Prize winning information and cutting edge vascular research. Unfortunately, 95% of the population has never heard of this organ and the direct impact it has on cardiovascular health and wellness. Together, we can change this dynamic and make a huge impact on saving lives in our African American communities. This organ is called the endothelium. It's the largest secreting organ in your body and critical to your cardiovascular health. Your endothelium is only one cell thick, but it lines the inside of your heart. The inside of all your arteries and arterioles, veins and venials are lined by this organ. Your capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. Scientists and researchers once thought this one cell thick lining was just an inner membrane that didn't have any purpose other than keeping your blood in the vascular system. Research over the last 10 years has clearly shown the endothelium to be a multifunctional organ involved in metabolic, immunologic, and cardiovascular health. One of those functions is to convert the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. Before we talk about nitric oxide, I'd like you to get a feel for how important an organ your endothelium is. Your endothelial cells perform several key functions. The first one is angiogenesis, or the formation of new capillary beds. This is necessary for wound healing, especially for people with diabetes, and critical in helping to limit the damage from a heart attack or stroke. Your endothelium facilitates blood flow and is involved in both the prevention of blood clots through nitric oxide as well as helping your blood to clot. Your endothelial cells are the controlling factor in the regulation of your blood pressure. And your endothelium provides a specialized barrier function to regulate the passage of gases, fluids, and various molecules across their membrane. 
This plays an extremely important function for each organ as well as your immune system. Most vascular researchers now believe it's your endothelium that ultimately determines the health of your cardiovascular system. And one function of your endothelium is to produce a gas called nitric oxide. This is so important to your cardiovascular health that the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers who discovered how your endothelial cells convert the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. One of these Nobel laureates is Dr. Louis J. Ignaro, who wrote a national bestseller called No More Heart Disease. I'd like to focus on the subtitle of his book. It says, quote, how nitric oxide can prevent, even reverse, heart disease and strokes, end of quote. Additionally, Dr. John Cook, the director of vascular medicine at Stanford University, published a book called The Cardiovascular Cure. Notice his subtitle, How to Strengthen Your Self-Defense Against Heart Attack and Stroke. Dr. Cook goes on to say the following, quote, This book will introduce you to the magic that is inside your blood vessels. It comes in the shape of a molecule, one of the simplest molecules found in nature. This molecule is nitric oxide, or NO, a substance so powerful that it can actually protect you from heart attack and stroke. Best of all, your body can make it on its own. Nitric oxide is your body's own built-in natural protection against heart disease." End of quote. Unfortunately, this is not the message given to African Americans about improving their cardiovascular health. After reviewing all the prominent sites devoted to heart health, here is a summary of their list of recommendations. Stop smoking. Reduce stress. Maintain a normal blood pressure. Properly manage your cholesterol levels. Be active. Lose weight. Alcohol in moderation. Control blood sugar levels. Avoid recreational drugs. All wonderful recommendations to help you improve your health, but no one mentions the importance of properly nourishing your endothelium for improved nitric oxide production. Proper levels of nitric oxide in your bloodstream are critical, but before we talk about some of the specific functions of nitric oxide, I'd like to put this slide on the screen. 77% of Americans treated for a first stroke had high blood pressure. 69% of Americans who have a first heart attack have high blood pressure. 74% of Americans with congestive heart failure have high blood pressure. And 66% of Americans with diabetes have high blood pressure. Now these statistics apply to Americans in general. They're even higher in the African American community. And as you can clearly see, high blood pressure is a common ailment for all four of these cardiovascular health issues. Additionally, a blood clot formation that lodges in a vascular artery is usually the reason for a stroke or heart attack. The vast majority of these diseases are a result of endothelial cell dysfunction and its inability to properly produce nitric oxide. This information helps us to clearly identify three keys to solving most of the cardiovascular issues affecting African Americans. They are controlling blood pressure, preventing blood clots, and reversing endothelial cell dysfunction. Here's how nitric oxide directly addresses each of these keys. First, nitric oxide is your body's most powerful vasodilator. What this means is that nitric oxide causes the smooth muscle of your vascular wall to relax, which helps to keep your blood pressure in a normal range. That would directly benefit our first key of controlling blood pressure. Second, nitric oxide keeps blood platelet cells from sticking together to naturally prevent blood clots. This would reduce the number one cause of strokes and heart attacks and directly address our second key. Third, nitric oxide helps to repair damage done to the endothelium and keep it free from plaque formations and calcification. Plaque formations result in the disease called atherosclerosis and calcification results in the disease called arterial sclerosis. According to the American Heart Association, 74% of all cardiovascular disease is related to these two issues. Proper levels of nitric oxide can help to prevent both of them. This directly addresses the last key of helping to reverse endothelial cell dysfunction. 
One additional note of importance to African American men. Nitric oxide causes penile erections by dilating blood vessels. This directly relates to erectile dysfunction. No nitric oxide, no sex. Now you might be thinking, why hasn't my physician told me this information? The answer is, they most likely don't know, and they most likely don't cover two other issues that affect African Americans. They are genetic polymorphisms or predispositions that are inherent to the African American population. The first genetic predisposition causes African Americans to have higher levels of an enzyme called arginase in their bloodstream. Everyone carries arginase. It's used to help your body rid itself of harmful ammonia waste products. Unfortunately, arginase converts L-arginine to another chemical compound which can severely reduce the endothelium's ability to properly produce nitric oxide. This is also a critical factor in male sexual health since arginase also ties up receptor sites on the endothelium to further reduce nitric oxide production. Remember, no nitric oxide, no sex. The second genetic predisposition causes African Americans to have low to insufficient levels of vitamin D in their bloodstream. This can lead to bone density issues, muscle weakness, cognitive impairment, cancer, increased risk for diabetes, and an increased risk for death from cardiovascular disease. So how do you combat these issues and help your endothelium create this nitric oxide? For the creation of nitric oxide, there are two important amino acids needed. They are L-arginine and L-citrulline. Your endothelium directly converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, but it needs a certain level. As you can see by the PowerPoint slide, I've listed some common food sources in which to obtain this amino acid. Let me make a few general comments. Most research indicates that for you to receive a therapeutic benefit from L-arginine, you need to consume at least 5 grams of this amino acid at one time. So I selected 6 food items that I thought would be common food choices. I did the math conversions to look at how much food you would need to eat to take in 5 grams of L-arginine. I also looked at the number of calories and grams of fat it would bring into your body. As you can see by the slide, peanuts provide the smallest quantity of food, but they pack on 70 grams of fat and 918 calories. When you examine this slide, you can see that the three best choices are beans, tuna, or chicken breast. One can of beans, or two cans of tuna, or almost one pound of chicken are needed on a daily basis. This quantity of food is necessary to have a significant therapeutic effect on your endothelial cells and their ability to properly produce nitric oxide. For L-citrulline, you only have one good choice, which is watermelon. Unfortunately, 60% of the L-citrulline is contained in the rind portion, which most people typically throw away. So unless you juice the entire watermelon, most people do not get adequate amounts of L-citrulline to help turbocharge their endothelium's ability to properly produce nitric oxide. Which brings us to the question, is it better to get these critical amino acids through supplementation? Well, before we talk about supplementation, I need to make one more important point about these two amino acids. When you bring in a therapeutic level of L-arginine, it typically results in a 30-minute to 2-hour window of improved nitric oxide production. When you combine your L-arginine with a therapeutic level of L-citrulline, you increase this production of nitric oxide to an 18 to 36-hour window. This has huge health benefits in helping you repair the damage done to the endothelium. Which brings us back to supplementation. If you choose supplementation, then one of the best is ProArginine Plus from Synergy Worldwide. In fact, many believe it's the best nitric oxide supplement in the marketplace. It has been intentionally designed to help nourish your endothelium to properly produce nitric oxide for improved cardiovascular health and function. And it addresses the two genetic predispositions inherent to the African American community. ProArginine Plus contains both L-arginine and L-citrulline at the needed levels to help turbocharge your endothelium's ability to properly produce nitric oxide over an extended period of time. Additionally, ProArginine Plus also includes the following ingredients. Vitamin B9, B6, and B12, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, vitamin C, D-ribose, 
grape skin extract, red wine extract, and pomegranate extract. I'm not going to go into detail about each ingredient, but I would like to highlight three, which will help you better understand the science that went into the design of this product and directly addresses some of the biochemistry issues facing African Americans. I want to highlight vitamins D3 and K2. You need vitamin D3 to help your body properly absorb calcium. You need vitamin K2 to help your body properly direct where calcium goes. Calcium is extremely important for your body, not just for bone health and the prevention of osteoporosis, but also for a wide variety of cellular reactions, one of which is the creation of nitric oxide. Let me use the following illustration to help you understand the importance of calcium in nitric oxide production. If you walk into a dark room and you want the lights on, you flip the switch on the wall. If you look at nitric oxide as the light, and the wiring in the wall as the enzymatic process the endothelium uses to create nitric oxide, and the L-arginine as the electricity, then the switch is calcium. Calcium starts the reaction. Vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 help to regulate your calcium levels in your bloodstream so that this reaction can properly take place. Plus, each scoop of Prorogenin Plus has 2,500 international units of vitamin D3 to help properly raise your vitamin D levels in your bloodstream. Prorogenin Plus also contains the amino acid L-citrulline. Not only does your body use L-citrulline to recycle L-arginine to turbocharge your endothelium's ability to properly produce nitric oxide over an extended period of time, but it also provides the endothelium an alternative pathway to counter the negative effects arginase has on L-arginine. Rather than be limited in the production of nitric oxide, the body can convert L-citrulline to L-arginine to bypass the arginase enzyme, allowing the endothelium to naturally produce nitric oxide. The reason why ProArginine Plus is so effective is because of the science and manufacturing expertise that has gone into the development of this product. It's manufactured by Nature's Sunshine Products and distributed by Synergy Worldwide. Nature's Sunshine is 40 years old. They're one of the most respected nutritional manufacturers in the world. Both Synergy and Nature's Sunshine have received the NSF Good Manufacturing Certification, which means that they meet the highest standards in the nutrition industry for quality assurance and control. The manufacturing process to create the proprietary formulation of Prorogenin Plus is second to none. A total of 262 tests are conducted along the various stages of manufacturing to ensure the highest quality and potency of the ingredients used. This level of quality is also reflected in the people who are associated with this product. On the screen is Dr. J. Joseph Prendergast. Considered by many to be one of the leading authorities in the world on the use of L-arginine for the treatment of cardiovascular concerns. Dr. Joe has been using L-arginine, L-citrulline therapy since 1991 to help his diabetic patients experience phenomenal results. Dr. Joe contributed his 20 plus years of practical experience and research with the nutritional scientists at Nature Sunshine to develop the ProArgin Plus formulation. What also makes ProArgin Plus unique in the nutrition industry is that it has clinical application and studies to back up its effectiveness. The High Desert Heart Institute is located in Victorville, California. They're considered one of the premier heart institutes in the world. In 2009, they did a human clinical study using ProArgin Plus. In fact, it's the most complete and comprehensive human clinical study ever done on a nutritional supplement. This study involved 33 congestive heart failure patients who were all medically and pharmaceutically managed to the maximum. Over a 90-day period, these patients were given an aggressive amount of Prorogenin Plus, and by the end of 90 days, all patients had their medications substantially reduced. Because of these remarkable changes, the High Desert Heart Institute uses Prorogenin Plus as part of their standard treatment program for their patients, and they continue to do ongoing cardiovascular studies using this highly effective product. So what does all this information mean to you? Well, a healthy endothelium equals a healthy cardiovascular system. The health of your endothelium 
and its ability to properly produce nitric oxide can potentially reduce your risk for high blood pressure, cholesterol concerns, diabetic complications, and other cardiovascular issues that have shortened the lifespan of so many African Americans. We believe Prorogen Plus can help properly nourish your endothelium for improved nitric oxide production, help to bypass the negative effects of the enzyme arginase, and help to improve vitamin D levels in your bloodstream to combat the negative effects of premature cardiovascular aging. And since most of your life revolves around your cardiovascular system, any improvements typically result in improved cell, tissue, and organ function. Additionally, Prorogenine Plus comes with a 90-day unconditional money-back guarantee. When you factor in ingredients, price, quality assurance, clinical studies, and the money-back guarantee, Prorogenine Plus has the best value and an extremely competitive price. This leaves us with a final question. Are you ready to experience the health benefits of Prorogenine Plus? by taking our 90-day health challenge with an unconditional money-back guarantee. If your answer is yes, then please contact the person who invited you to this presentation. They can assist you in your purchase of Progen Plus and help you properly start on this excellent product.